Well, you guys are about to get real excited because according to the wrap, the next two sequels to the Fifty Shades of Grey franchise, oh, Fifty yeah. Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed, will be shot back to back next year. Also, it looks like they have found a director in James Foley who has agreed to helm both movies. The first film had a budget of $40 million but went on to make $570 million worldwide. Fifty Shades Darker will come to theaters on February 10th, 2017 and Fifty Shades Freed finishes the trilogy on February 9th, 2018. Josh, do you buy or sell the two Fifty Shades movies being shot back to back and James Foley directing both films? I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem pretty excited yeah. about that. Yeah, it's great, man. It's another one of these movies. You uh, cosplayed when you saw the first yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, if he, if, he were, if he has a mustache in one of the, the next two, I'll definitely tune in for it. No, sell these stupid things. Uh, listen, these movies are... I don't understand how this book got popular because it's basically just airport fiction. And then these movies make all this money because girls go and see it. Like, this movie's stupid, but you know they're going to go see the next two. The least they could do is make it like 50, 51 Shades of Grey or 52 Shades of Grey. It would be kind of funnier than... Like, it, what, you're freeing them from bondage? It wasn't even that much bondage in that stupid movie. I've had better... <laughs> sorry, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, I buy it. You know why? Because it means shoot it quick, put it in the theaters, get it out! I don't want to see it anymore. It's like you, you shoot it fast, you get it out there. But I do buy the director. Look, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, you, you directed, yeah. right? The fact that they got him, it will look better. But guess what? It does not going to make a lick of difference because you get those two banana heads writing it. Like, <laughs> and, and like they, the, from what we've heard, all reports, <laughs> the, the two of them, what we've heard about the about them is that they've been a nightmare. That's why the first director yeah. took off. Glenn like, Gary Glenn Ross was 20 plus years ago, was it not? Whatever. He can still, he's still a capable he director. He needs those new leads. <laughs> what, what, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but what, what, what we're, as far as these two writers, for, they have carte blanche they can say whatever they can do whatever they want to do if, if he if the director has the best idea they can go no that that makes no sense Let, let's put shoes on their ears and have them dance in tutus no i, I no you, you have to because it's our movie and that's the problem and he's the one that's going to take the brunt of the uh, of the criticism that's what happened last that's why the other director said no nah, i'm good i'm gone so as far as I'm buying it because, like I said, I want to see them shot quick. It means that we don't have to keep hearing about it and talking about it in this show. That's like two, yeah, two, three, four, five, six years before we get another one. It's like we'll see it in one year, and then we'll see it in another, and then we're finished. Yeah, it's already kind of a, a mistake for them not to have the second one yeah. ready for this coming February. Yep. I, I, I buy it as well, but for different reasons. I just buy it because, one, I like the director choice. I mean, obviously, what, what you're talking about, it's not going to help. I mean, Sam Taylor Johnson, it, you know, when I watched uh, the first Fifty Shades, which I did not like, right. it wasn't the direction that was bad. You could actually, actually, if you just take apart the actual story and the writing and all that stuff, it was actually well directed. The problem is you cannot right. certain direct. You can't overcome your story and your script, and yeah. this is one of those cases. It's like uh, I remember one of those, those Twilight movies. Uh, the one David Slade did, I actually thought was well directed. It was just a terrible story and so this one is the same situation sam taylor johnson she leaves you get another guy who i guess he's also done he's done house of cards recently yeah, he yeah. Did 12 episodes of house of cards yeah so it's he's not exact, which, yeah. which there are some sexual moments in house of cards that are very 50 shades of gray esque mm -hmm. right but, with, but the difference is good writing good writing yeah. yeah 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 he also did a movie called the corrupter with uh chow yon fat and uh mark Wahlberg a while what was ago it? The uh the corrupter it's about, it was about a uh, Chinatown game. Oh, okay. It was a while, was a while ago. Oh, yeah, I actually yeah, enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah, okay. So I like him as a director. Right. I, I mean, who knows why he's doing this? Maybe yeah. he's you know paycheck, get a big paycheck, thing. whatever, crank him out. Get your name's going to be out there. I mean, you, you you're putting your name out there again for sure. Maybe he's been he's been out of the spotlight for a little while too. And you know if he can if he can somehow polish this turd a little bit, yeah. you know then then maybe he comes out of it like look, it's still Fifty Shades of Grey, but look what he did. At least he made you know, the directing. You can still say the script was terrible, but the directing was on on point. Unless he's like trying to trend towards retirement and get into like softcore Cinemax or something, and this yeah. is like his entry into that. I don't know. All right, Sinead, are you you excited to see another <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey? Since um, you're such a big fan of the the first one, I'm gonna be real honest right now. Um, I have not seen Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, you what, bitch. Ryan? Um, <laughs> I put down the book after like 82 pages. Oh, you got that far? Yeah, I got that far. I tried really hard. Um, I read it on an airplane, actually. Um, so there you go. And um, did but you use the barf bag or was <laughs> no? It, like it just was. Like, it's just a joke. It's a joke of a story. And it's like, sure, you can polish a turd, but at the end of the day, it's still a turd. So, 
There's there you a lot go. Of <laughs> on that one. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.